Oh, yes, the, the introduction. It's such a challenging thing. Let's set the stage. There you are. You're at a networking event. You walk up and you talk to the person you already know first because you got to get warmed up to it, right? You talk to somebody you know. But then that conversation a couple minutes later, you realize you have to take that step into the real world of networking. What do you say to somebody when you first walk up to them? You know, you, you've only got about 15 to 30 seconds, the industry says, to make, an, to make a first impression. And so these are some ideas about how to make an introduction that's compelling. Number one, some people say, don't say your job title. I agree with them. It's not good to just, I mean, people don't really care that much about what your title is. Some people say, don't say your name. Some people just say, well, I work with, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Some people say, don't say your company name because nobody, well, I'm not sure I agree with that either because some company names are really, really well known. You know, household names like Cobb Technologies, you know, things like that. You know. <laughs> so if, you're, if your company name is, is a, a well-known, go ahead and say it. Be proud of who you work for or your own company. Okay, so there we're at the introduction. You got 15 to 30 seconds. The question everybody wants to know is what value do you offer your clients? What is the value? So there are three things that I think, and as my friend Jim Roman says, I think you should write this down. I, 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 agree. I agree with Jim. Number one, who do you work with? Who do you work with? That's what people want to know. So things like I work with or I support, those are the first thing people want to know when you're doing that 15 to 30 second introduction, a brief overview of your services, and finally, the results or benefits that you offer. Okay, so who do you work with? Brief overview of your services, and what are the results that you offer? Okay, so now a question. This is a question that has a reward. I want the first person who raises their hand and has the correct answer to this question will get this dollar. What is the purpose of a 30 second introduction? What's the purpose of a 30 second introduction? Yes, young lady. To get the person to ask you more. That is actually correct. <laughs> brightest group I've ever seen. The answer was to attract others so they want more information from you. Just what young Jeannie just, just said. Okay, so we're in that 15 to 30 second time now. You've started to off to, you've done the three things. You've got your five seconds. The first five seconds are that compelling thing that wants them to know more, like Jeannie says. So now you've done the five second, let's move into the heart of the 30 second introduction. The most important thing that people want to know is, and they want to write this down, how, how does your product or service touch your target market in one or more of three areas? There are only three things that we all really care about, panel. Isn't that right? Money, health, and relationships. Think about it. Money, health, or relationships. Let's say it together. Money, Money health. health. A relationship. Those are the three things. So when you're introducing yourself with what you're going to say, think about that's what people want to know. How does your product or service touch those areas of people's lives? And the last thing is a call to action. Call to action. Give something away. Give away a free consultation. <coughs> give, away, uh, give away a book. Give away a free sample. Give away a dollar. Whatever you got to do. <laughs> give something away so that it's a call to action. And so in conclusion, the three components of an introduction that's compelling are, one is the opener, that's that 15 to 30 seconds that, that you have, two is the benefits. What benefits does, do you offer that your competitors don't offer? And then three, a call to action. So leave your audience wanting more, and that is the key thing. Now, in conclusion, I have a great 15 to 30 second introduction, but you probably don't want to hear that today, so I'll just, what's your, please, what's your, oh, more, more, can you give us some examples? Oh, oh. Well, sometimes what I say to people is, I'm put my notes down for this one, because you should not have to walk around with notes when you're networking. <laughs> I work with Richmond businesses to show them how to save money through document management solutions. Does that make you want to know more? I can do that. Now.
mission accomplished. Thank you.